though it's not really sweater weather in North Carolina. <laughs> I'm gonna put on my favorite sweater from American Eagle and pretend it is and do some fall makeup. I'm gonna take the Pinky Rose, I think this is the Earth Tones palette. I'm gonna take this like mustard yellow shade, use the Tarte Shape Tape as my base, blend it out. And I'm just gonna go in with like a big fluffy brush right in the crease as my transition shade. You don't have to be too neat with this. It can be super messy with this step. Next, just to deepen it up, I'm gonna use this like burnt bright pumpkin orange shade. Go right below it with like a smaller blending brush in my crease. Um, don't go too far up because you don't want to hide all the mustard shade. Then I'm going to take this olive green color. It's my favorite color in the world. I'm going to take this on just like a flatter brush and try working it on the lid. It wasn't as bright as I really wanted it to be, so you'll see in a minute what I do. Because I wasn't getting the real like deep dark shade that I wanted I'm gonna go in the subculture palette from Anastasia and just work it in like the outer V I'm gonna try and do like the half cut crease thing so I'm just mainly working it in the outer V blend it up blend it on the bottom then I'm gonna take the Stila smoldering satin and these are super easy because you can fake that like half cut crease and you don't really have to go on with concealer, carve it out, it does that for you with the brush. These are so nice for like cheating when you want to look super fancy. You don't really have to do anything with this. Just so everything is like super blended, not stacked on top of each other, I'm just going to go on with the same shade, like go over the glitter a little bit. You don't want it to look just like stacks on top of each other. You want it to look like it all blends together. Then I'm going to go in with this Milk Makeup Kush Mascara. This is my favorite. I haven't had a mascara this good in a really, really long time. Then L'Oreal Infallible Pro Matte. I did a complete fail covering my face, but we all know how to put on foundation with a beauty blender. So... For my concealer, I'm going to mix the Tarte Shape Tape and It Cosmetics Bye Bye Under Eyes. You're going to get maximum coverage with this. Like, you've slept a full 8 hours for the last 10 years. Like, this is crazy coverage. Then I'm going to cover it or set it with my Airspun Translucent Powder. This bronzer acted as like a bronzer and contour in one. It was six bucks at Ulta. I was waiting in line and I saw a Morphe bronzer for six dollars. This is my first Morphe product, so I absolutely love it. Then with the Hoola Benefit bronzer brush, I'm just gonna take the NYX bronzer in medium. Just looks super bronzy. Always look, look tan. Just because it's easy with like big blending brushes for your bronzer to go down, I just clean up my contour with my beauty blender. And I have to pause this because I never wear blush. I hate blush. But this is my favorite blush. Tarte Party. This is the only blush I will wear. Ever. Thank you, Tarte. Gonna make everything come back to life with my Pure Hydrating Mist. And we're gonna mix these two highlighting shades in the Nicole Guerrero palette. This is Rimmel Stay Matte in, since I can't find the shade name, I'll just list it down below when I decide I can find it, but it's like a hydrating matte, it's not a sticky dry matte. This is really comfortable wear throughout the day, I love it. I don't know why, but I decided to put on a gloss. It's the Marc Jacobs Sugar Sugar. I love these glosses because they're not sticky. They just, they're hydrating. I'm picky about my glosses and I love this gloss. 
That is the first of many fall looks because fall makeup is my favorite. I'm so ready to do dark lip looks. I try to keep everything like true to speed so everything's not sped up and you kind of don't understand what's going on. Hope this helps. Um, like, subscribe, comment, all that stuff. Bye!